we have the tried and true water level. So when we put in our next tab, we wanna be sure that it's at precisely the same level as tab number one. And a water level allows you to get around behind, say, one tree or another and still give you level here. It's a beautiful way to go. Lasers are wonderful, but the thing about lasers is you can't really get to the backside of one of these trees and find that exact same level. So just get some plastic tubing. We actually provide this on the website as well. Clear half inch plastic tubing. You fill it with water. Make sure there are no bubbles. I mean, not even tiny bubbles in there. You gotta shake those out. And then when they come together, the ends, and these could be 100 feet long if you like. I think we've got about 20 feet here. And you'll see that these things will level out in the, in the long run to precisely the same level on both ends. So Charlie's gonna take this end to tab number one. I'm gonna take this end and you just kind of cover it like that with your thumb while you move around so you don't spill any out. But he's gonna to go to his side and I'm gonna come over to this side of tree number three is technically the name of this one. I'm gonna release the top and Charlie's gonna find, he drives this. It's, uh, that's probably the right term because I'm just waiting for his, his water level to settle and then when his is settled and mine settled, that's gonna be level. And as you can see, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to do this with any kind of uh, laser or even a, a line level for that matter. Water level though, works great. So Charlie, you're, uh, my bubble's not moving much, how about you? Good. You're good. So this is gonna mark the center of the tab. Okay, so I've used a pencil here, but typically, you know, bark is, is so, um, I mean, it's got a lot of texture to it, so I'll use a marking screw. And so I'll just do that in this case as well. Got my driver here and there we go. Okay, so we're all set with level. I think I'll hand this off to you, Charlie. And oh, here's something. When, when you're done using your water level, it's kind of a good idea to, knowing we're gonna use it again, is to just put some plugs in the end. A lot of times we just use sticks. You can find those typically nearby in any treehouse project. Ready for next time. We figured out how high to put the tab on the tree. We know how to go up and down with our torpedo level. Now we wanna find out the direction left or right of the tab itself. We would like to be 90 degrees off the beam that we're gonna place up here eventually. So the way to do that is with our mason line. Charlie's gonna take this to the other tree. I'm gonna bring it over here to where we have our mark already. Okay, Charlie's kinda, of, this mason line is giving us a really clear picture of what that straight beam is gonna look like when it's finally up against the tree here. So I'm just gonna wrap this around. Friction does beautiful things here. What I wanna do now is give myself a good orientation left or right so that my tab is 90 degrees to the beam. Again, the mason line that we've got in here that you can see hopefully clearly is essentially where the beam will sit when everything's said and done. So if I take my speed square right here in my belt, great thing to have, essential, I put that up against that mason line, just kissing it against there, and now I can see the orientation that I'd like to have left to right for my tab. Notice I'm putting it up higher. This is just for visual reference. It's not where the tab is gonna be drilled. It just gives me that 90 degrees. This screw is the height, and this screw is the orientation left right. Okay, so let's pull this mason line and we will install our next tab. Okay, we're committed. Okie dokie. That's the depth we need. I have a feeling we're pretty close to the other side of the tree, but that's a good lesson for us all. You can actually go through the tree. That's not a problem. I mean, if you go all the way through the tree and your, and your tab comes out the other side, that's not the end of the world, truly. Okay, I'm gonna back out. <laughs> 